Good day everyone! Welcome to Sir Fox Learning Channel. For today's video, aalamin po natin ano pa ba yung iba pang mga ingredient na mayroon ang isang cleaning product at ano yung mga gamit ng mga ito. So last time, nag-explore po tayo kung ano-ano yung mga ingredients sa mayroon ng mga cleaning products na mayroon po kayo sa bahay. Uh, pinapa yung sa ating activity ay you are asked to determine the formulation, applications, and directions or precautions on how to use it. So, katulad nitong aking cleaning agent po dito, alcohol, ang nakalagay po dito is pour on hands or use cotton and rub liberally on skin. Yan po yung direction. Yung kanyang precaution, do not swallow or use near eyes for children. Use under adults supervision. Keep exceeding 30 degrees. So, yun po yung kanyang precaution. Okay? At this point, alamin po natin, bukod po dun sa mga sh sa siyang na nabanggit, ano pa yung iba pang added na mga agents na mga ingredients sa isang cleaning material. Halimbawa ito may nakalagay antiseptic disinfectant uh, hypoallergenic tapos with moisturizer so we, ibig sabihin may iba pang mga added ingredients na inilalagay sila sa isang product at ito green ang color. Ano ba yung significance ng color sa product? Yan po yung alamin po natin sa video nito. Happy learning everyone! Hello, good day for today's video. Our topic is all about use of other ingredients in cleaning agents. <clears throat> Excuse me po. So, our learning target on this video or on this in this lesson is give the use of other ingredients in cleaning agents. Last time what that I mean, the main ingredients that the cleaning product has. And we found out, we found out nine ingredients a cleaning product has. At this point, still we will give more use of ingredients naman, of these cleaning agents. The first one is builders. What is a builders? A builder are one of the important group of ingredients that help make cleaning products better. Builders give surfactants a helping hand. They are found in a several different kinds of products, <clears throat> but you need less of them than you do surfactants. Itong builders nakakatulong po ito para ma-improve yung effect ng isang cleaning agent yung effect ng, ng isang cleaning product so ito yung ginagawa ni builders this help make the surfactant more powerful by reacting with stuff found in tap water like for instance water sa ating mga tahanan na pwedeng nagko-contain po yan ng mga minerals such as calcium and magnesium. Ito po yung mga ito, yung mga minerals na to, madaling dumikit po ito sa mga lagayan na minsan sa kilikili may makikita ka dyan ng mga stained, right? And isa sa mga kinagawa ni builders ay tanggalin itong mga minerals, mineral content na ito. Okay? Another use of this ingredient or another ingredient that a 
cleaning agent has is a solvent. What is this solvent? Ito ba yung mga ginagamit ng mga street children? No. Solvent are chemicals that help ingredients stay mixed and give cleaning products the right thickness so they are easy to use. Can you still remember? In a solution, merong two parts po yan. Do you remember that? What? Ano yung two parts ng solution? Anybody from our viewers? You can type it on the comment section. The solute and solvent. Ano ba yung difference ni solute from solvent? Solute is the dissolved material, dissolved product. Si solvent is the dissolving material. Okay, can you still remember that? So, si solvent, sabi po dito sa ating outline, help, in, help the ingredients stay mixed and gives cleaning products the right thickness so that this cleaning product easy to use. And these solvents can help to prevent liquid products from freezing. Kaya nga, may right amount po yan ng solvent. The common, the common solvent is water. So, in every solution, there must be a right amount, exact amount of solvent. Halimbawa, nagtimpla ka ng juice, syempre hindi pwedeng isang baso ng juice, isang baso rin ng water. Di ba? Parang, paano umainom yung isang basong powder na juice dinisolve mo sa isang basong water? Paano, mang, paano mangyayari yun? So, it cannot be. Kaya, importante po yung gamit ng solvent. Without solvent, a product will be very thick. But for other products, we, we want the liquid to pour out of the button. Another thing is the enzymes. Ano ba itong enzymes? Enzymes are powerful stain-removing ingredients. Their power is to break down stains just like the enzymes in our digestive system, which help break down the food we eat. Enzymes are not living organisms but are created by naturally occurring microorganisms like bacteria and fungi. So, yung enzyme may gamit din pala sa mga cleaning agent. Ang purpose niya, yun niya, to remove yung mga stains na yan. Mabisang pangtanggal po yan. Kaya isa sa mga added po yan sa mga cleaning agents. Isa sa mga very important uh, ingredients sa isang cleaning material. Of course, another thing is the fragrances. Usually, kapag pumipili po tayo ng cleaning materials, isa po sa mga tinitingnan po natin yung kanyang fragrance, right? Pumipili po tayo ng kung ano yung gusto nating amoy. For instance, ano ba yung usual na makikita po natin? Lemon, yung kanyang, yung kanyang fragrance, lemon, calamansi, uh, ilang-ilang, sampagita, uh, tulips, mayroon bang ganun? So, importante po yung fragrance. Fragrances are a group of ingredients that provide the cleaning products with pleasant smell. Diba? Mas feel mo yung linis ng isang lugar, ng isang area. Diba? Nag-disinfect ka. Mas feel mo yung dis na na-disinfect yung isang area kapag naamoy mo na yung fragrance. Right? Pero kung ang naamoy mo ay parang parang ano lang, na-stuck na water, feel mo madumi pa rin. Feeling mo madumi pa din. So, kaya isa sa mga added ingredients 
Now, very functional is the fragrance. Very useful, rather. They are not found in every product. And typically, a very small amount can make large difference in smell. In many cases, the fragrances or fragrance is the driving factor for why some decided to buy a specific product. Kaya yung sinasabi ko kanina. Alam mo yung gusto mong bilhin na amoy. Gusto mo yung, da yung downy na ganito. Diba? May meron ka ng specific na gustong amoy ng curtains mo, ng bedsheets mo. Alright? Preservatives. Another added uh, significant ingredients of a cleaning agent. The preservative. And which is very useful. Without the preservatives, definitely may spoil yung cleaning product mo or hindi magi magiging functional yung cleaning product mo or di kaya possible maging poisonous. Just like it is important to pre prevent food from spoiling, cleaning products need to be preserved as well. Adding a small amount of preservative protects the product from microorganisms. Uh, product in order to make it stable and safe for a longer period. Without the preservative, what will happen? It is possible for bacteria or fungi to grow in the product. Kapag nag-grow na yung mga yan, hindi na ma-balance yung solution mo ng yung cleaning product, definitely something will happen to that. Either ma-spoil, pag mag-spoil, pwedeng makapag-cost ng poison, or di kaya, pag nag-spoil, pwedeng hindi na siya effective. Yung po yun. Ayan, can, this can cause the ingredients to the product to break down and not work as well. Okay, kaya importante po yung preservatives sa mga cleaning product din po. And, pH adjusters. Nilalagyan din po pala yung mga cleaning agents ng pH adjusters or potential hydrogen adjusters. May tendency po kasi na mag-increase yung kanyang hydrogen. Every cleaning, every cleaning products needs to be balanced to work well and to be safe for your skin. In order to do this, chemists use uh, yung pH means potential hydrogen adjusters to make sure the product is balanced and safe for your for you to use. So para maging balanced yung kanyang hydrogen. Ang tendency kasi pag tumas yung hydrogen since gas po yan, so magkakaroon ng ano, magkakaroon ng hindi maganda sa yung sa formula ng inyong cleaning material. So importante po yung pH adjuster. Nilalagay din po yan as one of the added in a cleaning agent. And dye Ano ba tong dye? Diyos ko, dye ba yan? Hindi po yun. Dye is usually, ito po yung pag, paglalagay po natin ng mga colored, colors sa mga products. May ina-add po tayo dyang material para maging colorful yung mga products po natin. Para maging attractive sa mga consumers, right? Sometimes doon din po tayo nakadepende. So usually, dalawa lang yan eh. Either yung fragrance or yung kanyang color. Okay? So, minsan ganun po tayo gumamit, bumili. Nakadepende sa color or nakadepende sa fragrance. Minsan, hindi, hindi, na, hindi na natin na, na, nasisignify yung, yung effect. Minsan doon tayo sa color. Lalo na kung mahilig ka sa pink, mahilig ka sa blue. Nandun na, nandun na po tayo. Minsan, kahit uh, siniset aside na po natin yung price. Okay lang yan. Yan yung gusto ko eh. There are several other ingredients used in cleaning products that help create a unique experience. Example, dye can be used to give product color. Uh, thicker, uh, thickener or thickeners give soap the pay, uh, proper viscosity, making sure it can still flow out of the bottle. And can you imagine trying to wash your hands with a soap that feels like water, di ba? Parang hindi mo maima, hindi mo mafeel. Gusto mo pa rin yung may color. Nag-shampoo ka, pero yung color ng shampoo, 
parang parang water lang. Parang gel, walang color. So, mas feel mo pa rin yung my color. 'Di ba? Usually pag bumibili ka ng ng cream silk, usually pink, 'yun yung favorite ni Y. Foam enhancer. Itong foam enhancer helps create such as bubbles. So, ito pala yung nagbibigay ng bubbles sa mga products, cleaning products, yung foam enhancer. While not necessary for effective cleaning, may, uh, many people feel bubbles show that a product is working. Di ba? Mas mabula. Isang patak. Mas marami ang bula. So, minsan kapag mabula, ang thinking ng karamihang consumer ay effective. Diba? Lalo na kapag mga bar na sabon, gusto nila yung mabula. Antibacterial or disinfecting ingredients, cleaning washes away germs with any dirt and soil that is removed. But further reduction of germs can be achieved by using additional ingredients that will kill germs antibacterial or disinfecting ingredients which can be included in a cleaning or hand hygiene product or used separately of third cleaning. So itong foam enhancer, uh, isang added material din po ito sa mga cleaning agents para yan, pampabula nga po siya. And of course, before we end up, your task is to have a safe environment. So this is our application. Let's have a safe environment, especially nowadays. Kailangan po natin ng maging malinis para hindi ka ma-infect ng virus sa paligid po natin na may iba't ibang variant na at mayroong isang variant na hindi ma-detect agad. So kailangan po natin magkaroon ng safe environment. What you gonna do is, sabi po dito sa ating direction, with your knowledge on the different ingredients of cleaning products na nakita mo last activity po natin, you will make a poster on safe storage and use of the different cleaning agents. So, gagawa ka ng poster. So, ito po ay poster making performance ta task po ito. And write a short description of your work. So, Usually, ang poster walang description. Pero dito po sa ating activity, since hindi naman tayo lahat ay artist, may mga artist talaga, skills po yan or talent, but para ma-distinguish agad ni teacher, i-describe mo yung work mo. Ano ba yan? Okay? So much for that. Thank you for listening. And hopefully, this video lesson nakatulong po sa ating mga distance learners, grade 11 distance learners who are taking physical science, week 8, last lesson po ito for the third quarter. Fourth quarter na, malapit ka nang mag-grade 12. Pero actually, hindi lang po ito pang, pang sudyante. Pwede rin po ito sa ating mga nanay, sa ating mga tahanan. Kaya to all nanays, happy Mother's Day po sa inyong lahat. Happy learning!